Here I've got a crazy number puzzle from an Azerbaijan math contest. Although I think puzzles like this show up in a lot of different places. Okay, so the setup is we've got this huge number 34 factorial. So it starts 2, 9, 5, 2, 3, 2. There's a bunch more numbers. Then there's this digit A, which we do not know at the moment. And then it continues 0, 4, 1, 4, 0, 8, continuing with a bunch more numbers to a digit B that we also do not know. And then it ends in seven zeros. And our goal is to find the values of A and B. This may seem like super impossible, but you can actually do it pretty easily with some divisibility tricks. Okay, so let's see how that can go. So the first thing that I want to start with is since 34 is bigger than 9 and it's bigger than 11, then 34 factorial is most definitely divisible by 9 and 11. So let's maybe just put that as something that we note here. So 9 divides 34 factorial and also 11 divides 34 factorial. But we're going to use the language of modular arithmetic to make this a little bit simpler. 9 dividing 34 factorial is the same thing as saying 34 factorial is congruent to 0 mod 9. Then similarly, 11 dividing 34 factorial is the same thing as saying 34 factorial is congruent to 0 mod 11. Now, where can we go from here? Well, luckily, there are nice divisibility tests for divisibility with respect to 9 and 11. So a number is divisible by 9 if and only if the sum of the digits is also divisible by 9. And likewise, a number is divisible by 11 if and only if the alternating sum of the digits is divisible by 11. So let's maybe use that. So, like I just said, since 34 factorial is congruent to 0 mod 9, that means the sum of these digits is also congruent to 0 mod 9. So, in other words, 2 plus 9 plus 5 plus 2 plus dot 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 plus a plus dot 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 plus b is congruent to 0 mod 9. And again, this may seem like something that's almost impossible to work with, but we can make simplifications as we go. So notice 9 is congruent to 0 mod 9, so we can just cancel this off immediately. Furthermore, 2 plus 5 plus 2 is equal to 9, which is congruent to 0 mod 9. So these will also cancel because adding 9 is like adding 0 when you're working mod 9. So I'll let you guys do all of the calculation. Sometimes this is called casting off nines. In other words, you find things that add up to nine and you throw them out of this process right here. But what you will end up with is a plus b plus one is congruent to zero mod nine. So in other words, when you add all of these numbers up other than a and b, you'll have one more than a multiple of nine. You can throw that multiple of nine away though. Okay, but this tells us that a plus b is congruent to negative one mod nine, but that is eight mod nine. Great. Now we can play the same game over here, except instead of a sum, it's an alternating sum. So what I mean by that is we take two minus nine plus five, minus 2, plus 3, minus 2, and so on and so forth. And then as we work all the way down, we'll see that a is attached to a plus, and then we'll have minus 0 plus 4, and then all the way down, and b will be attached to a minus. And we know that is congruent to 0 mod 11 by this alternating sum rule for divisibility by 11. Now we can play the same game that we did here, and that is look for things that add to multiples of 11 and get rid of them. 
So notice here we've got negative nine, negative two, that adds up to negative 11, so we can get rid of that. And then you can keep playing that game all the way down, getting rid of things that add up to 11 until you end up with the following congruence. You'll have a minus b minus four is congruent to zero mod 11. Okay, but that tells us that a minus b must be congruent to 4 mod 11. Now we want to take these congruences and turn them into equations. So I'll write these down and then we'll talk through them. So this tells us that a plus b is either equal to 8 or a plus b is equal to 17. So in general, there'll be infinitely many solutions to this type of congruence. You'll have 8, 8 plus 9, 8 plus 9 plus 9, and similarly 8 minus 9, 8 minus 9 minus 9, and so on and so forth. But we know that these are the only possible values, 8 and 17, and that's because A and B are forming digits of this number, so they're between 0 and 9. So those are the only achievable values. And then through a similar argument over here, we can see that a minus b is equal to negative 7 or a minus b is equal to 4. So again, those are the only achievable values that are congruent to 4 mod 11 given this restriction on a and b. So that gives us four possibilities. We can choose a plus b to be 8 or 17 and a minus to be to be negative 7 or 4. So let's get rid of this on the board and then we'll analyze each of those possibilities. So on the last board we got our problem down to the following four possibilities. Now we want to analyze each of these possibilities. So these two on the diagonal we can immediately argue to be impossible. And how can we do that? Well, if a and b are integers, then a plus b and a minus b are always of the same parity. In other words, a plus b and a minus b are either both even or both odd. But that is not the setup that we have in these two cases. Here we have a plus b is even and a minus b is odd, which is impossible. And here we have the opposite, which is also impossible. And now we'll look at the rema remaining two cases. Now we've just got a nice system of equations to solve. So I'll start by adding these two equations. So that's going to give me 2a equals 10. In other words, we'll have a equals 5. But now if we plug a equals 5, maybe back into this equation right here, we'll see that b is equal to 12. So we immediately see that this possibility is also impossible. Why is that? That's because b cannot be that large. So now let's look at what we've got here. We'll add these two equations again, and we'll see that 2a is equal to 12. That means a is equal to 6. But now if a is equal to 6, plugged back up here, we see b is equal to 2. And since that's the only remaining possibility, that must be the correct answer. And that's a good place to stop.